to do this. You still don't understand. I have done virtually everything within my power to prevent this. All of it. For nothing. The fates were not content to saddle me within the earth. They mock me still. Maybe they just think you're in the wrong, and that you're an obstinate, overbearing, miserable excuse for a husband and father. Don't you understand I'm trying to fix the problems you caused, since you're so unwilling to do it yourself? <sighs> You're right. I was unwilling. I made my choices in all this. I loved her, yes. I loved her terribly. But now, it seems I'm merely delaying the inevitable. Go then. Go to her. But should harm befall her, I shall bring my worst wrath upon whomever is to blame. Including you. What? You're letting me go just like that? You're just afraid of getting struck down again. You're serious. Go. Before I reconsider. Goodbye, Father. Zagreus, I almost missed you. Truthfully, I hoped that I could make it a surprise. Make what a surprise? My arrival. I'm going. To your home. To Cerberus. Nyx. Your father. You're... really? Mother, you... you're serious? Now, if you could just help me pack up my remaining things. Only a few loose odds I'm bringing, just in case. If we hurry, maybe you could join me, rather than return the customary way. Not something a mother ever wants to see. Join you? But wait, how are you going to get back? I hadn't thought that far ahead. Just so happens I know somebody who can give us a ride. Charon? Doubtless he has pressing matters to attend to. So let's not keep him waiting any longer, son. Come on, then. <sighs> I'm still alive. But how? You're on the River Styx. No longer in the mortal realm entirely. I can't believe that this is happening. I know. My heart is racing. Nothing like a river journey to remind oneself that there's no turning back. Seriously. Though, even after all of this, it's like we only just met. I have so many questions for you still. We'll have plenty of time for them, I think. For now, best we keep quiet. Pretend we're just a couple of dead souls on their final voyage. Eurydice and 
Morpheus. Snow everywhere. Mother. This is embarrassing, but I don't know the way to get back in. Except, you know, the customary way. That's quite all right. I do. In the name of Persephone the Queen, open the gates! I spent many days tending this garden. Or nights? Quite difficult to tell the time here. But it's held on longer than I would have expected. <gasps> Cerberus? <laughs> Persephone. I... Cerberus! 
I missed you so. And dutiful as ever, aren't you? I'm sorry. Know that I am sorry. Hades. You look tired. Though I am not the only one you ought to be apologizing to. I know. I know why. Why have you returned? If Olympus, if your mother discovers what happened, not even Zeus, not even he could stop what would transpire here. Oh, I have a thought or two about how we can settle that. Though I shall need for you and Zagreus to cooperate with me on a solution. Or, if you'd rather, I could just return the way I came. A solution? What, do you intend to have them over for Ambrosia? Not even you can fix a broken family, Persephone. You're right, Hades. I can't. Certainly not by myself. So are you going to help me or what? I would do anything that you would ask of me. Then first, talk to your son. Hmm. Zagreus, you have already met Persephone, our queen. I expect for you to show deference to her at all times. Wow, father, you called me by my name. What is this strange sensation that I feel? Perhaps it's this deference of which you speak. Oh, stop it, both of you! Don't make me regret this, Hades. Speak honestly with him. About yourself, not me. Go on. Yes, I... Zagreus. I know there have been times when I've let my mood reflect on you. I showed very little patience. Question your judgment, often when my own was flawed. Thus, I apologize to you, my son. I have no excuses, and I ask no forgiveness. What about the part where you lied to me about Mother? Do you apologize for that? Your foul moods and venting them on me. I've long since come to expect that from you, and I resented you for it. But I always thought, you're honest. Your mother did not come here willingly when we originally met. When she left, believing you were stillborn, her decision was final. I believed that she was better off without the lot of us, Olympus included. Deceiving both of you, it tore against my being, but it needed to be done. Well, you didn't need to vent all that inner turmoil onto me throughout my life. Though, I think I understand. I only wish I could have understood sooner. So, uh, what now? I've grown so used to ransacking your domain, I think I'm really going to miss it. About that. Your ransacking revealed many flaws in our security. The types that never get into reports. Our reputation rides on there being no escape from here. Would you keep trying to break free? Not for my sake, but for this realm, for the Queen. Zagreus, if you keep fighting out of here, it shall help keep appearances that everything is as it always was. Question, Father. Let's say I accept. When next I reach the surface, is it still going to be you waiting up there? Ah, oh, boy. If you think for an instant that I shall go easier on you because of this, you'll soon learn otherwise. So I just battle to the surface and repeatedly kill my own father then? You have it half correct. Perhaps you'll also tend to my little cottage while you're in the area. The garden doesn't take much care at all. I'd like to keep the place in decent shape. In case I cannot suffer this for long. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see what I can do. Just do the best you can. And clearly I've work to do as well. We have a lot of it ahead of us, I'd say. So, shall we get started then? Thus was Hades, feared ruler of the dead. Reunited with his long-lost bride, Persephone, the queen. 
and together with their firstborn son, Prince Zacrius, they would go on to reign eternally beneath the earth in relative harmony. The Queen's return marked an occasion of enthusiastic joy, so much as possible in that dark, gloom-filled realm of the dead. And even after all this time, Olympus never did discover what transpired there in the underworld. After all this time, it's only been a few days, but it's been good. Mother and father are back together, made some new friends, got this fancy painting. Easy. All is well in the underworld. I can't entirely get used to seeing us together like this. understand that your escape attempts, they are officially approved, isn't that so? That's so indeed, sir. Especially for now, at least. I'm going to keep on fighting to the surface. Helps me to vent a bit, and like Hypno says, it makes the underworld a better place. Though indirectly, I suppose. Well, then I look forward to working with you in a more formal capacity. And it is my sincerest hope that you, your mother, and your father learn to get on better with each other now. Thank you. Oh, hi. It's mine as well. Um, Prince, so is it really true then that you're staying and that you'll be working here officially, I guess? I, well, when you put it that way, yes, I guess it is. We're going to try and make it work like this for now. Well, you know what that means, don't you? We're official co-workers now. Isn't that so exciting? We can share our latest learnings, compare notes about the challenges we're up against, we run into one another in the hall. Do so. We've been doing everything you said this entire time. But it is not the same. The entire feel of it's completely different now. You'll see. So, okay, bye. Bye. Sagrius. Oh. Um, Mother, was it always custom in Father's house to secretly give nectar to those you care about? I guess it also could have been a thing on Olympus. Look, I wanted you to have this. I'm so glad I found you. Oh, Zagreus, you're so thoughtful, truly. Your father never permitted nectar out in the open, so I'd practically forgotten its savor. Though, just a moment. I have something for you, too. Oh, Mother, thank you. How has it been for you so far, Mother, reacclimating to all this? You said before it was a struggle. It must be very strange being back, being in darkness all the time. You know, I think it's gone all right so far. Thank you for asking, son. Everyone has been quite welcoming. The darkness is a pleasant change of pace. And while the stress can be a little difficult to move in, I quite like it. That's good to hear. I have to admit I was a little worried you'd be desperate to return to your cottage by now. This place can be a little much. I'm sure it can. And I do miss my little cottage here and there, but... I think I'm through running away. There may be times when it is necessary, of course. But no matter how far you run, it doesn't make your problems go away. You taught me that, you know? I did. But I tried desperately to run away myself. Oh. Indeed. You hung the painting where I asked? Yes. Well, look at you, boy. Never seen you quite so perky, relatively speaking, of course. Big, tough guy like yourself. You must have missed Mother just as much as she missed you. Well, you've got plenty of time for catching up on things now. The monstrous triple-headed beast of Hades would perhaps be overcome with pure emotion by the joyous circumstances, were he only capable of this. How dare you, sir? Who's the best three-headed boy?
Greetings, Father. So, I can just head on out there again whenever I want. Don't need to stick to any rigid schedule. Your unpredictability is one of your assets. Our defenses must always be on guard. So yes, go about your business as you best see fit. And the Olympians are going to keep helping me, thinking I'm trying to get away from you to them. I can't keep this up with them forever, you know. I do. Your mother, the Queen, is working on that. Oh! Hey, did you see? The Queen's come back! Though did she ever take her sweet time? Hey, watch it, Hypnos. That's my mother you're talking about. What, really? Huh! So then your mom doesn't spend any time with you either! We've got something in common! We don't. Say, Orpheus, I heard what must have been a song of yours. It went something something in the blood. You know that one? It was amazing, mate. Oh, that one. Yes, I know. I mean, it was a favorite, I was told, by those who listened to the music I created with my muse. It was a most productive time back when we were alive. Would you ever sing it again? I shall give it some thought, I think. Nix, you saved my life. Gave me life when I was born. Father told me. I don't know what to say. Why didn't you tell me? There are many things that I am not at liberty to speak of, child. Through my own binding choice. These circumstances are among them. Suffice it to say that your revival required the extent of my ability and considerable time. I never should have been born. Is that what the Fates wanted? Did you defy your own daughters? Silence. Tempt not my daughters thus. Thank them for me. Oh. Nix, along with giving you this bottle of ambrosia here, there's something I've meant to say to you. The three Fates have been very kind to me, because in denying me my birth mother, they gave me you. Without your steady presence here, I can't imagine what it would be like. Oh, then the three fates are whimsical indeed. When you were born and I was filled with fear for what it meant for you to be alive, to be responsible for you, I must admit I did not guess that one evening you would provide for me both such a gift and such a sentiment. Well, I mean every word. I love you, Nix. I love you too, my child. Just so I understand. Breaking through everything in your path, taking resources from your father's realm, trying to get through me. All officially part of the job description. I guess that's right. But before you ask, I'm not doing it for him. I didn't think you'd have it in you to leave this place for good. But I didn't think you'd take responsibility for anything either. Anyway, we'll just have to kill each other more officially, I guess. We'll make it official, all right. Those spices working out all right. I'm much obliged. Fine work from the house contractor. The garden's always open now. The Garden of Persephone, the Queen. Off limits to the Prince throughout his life. Now is laid bare to him at last in all its splendor. Not like Mother's Cottage, but not bad. What's going on, Skelly? Your mom is back in town from what I hear, boyo. It's awful nice knowing I trained you well. Um, you must mean the Queen, and evidently you're aware of our relationship. You keep that quiet, understand, Skelly? Ah, and thus the pupil trains the master for a change. I hear you, pal. Your secret's safe with me. It better be. 